graphics coming at you on the Thursday here 05 05 March 4% up day yesterday in the uh, S&P S&P futures wow crazy town right we sold some we're short at 07, 3107 at the end yesterday. Uh, didn't look that great as we were closing up down up at 3130. Uh, but here we are back at 31 the figure. We think there's more bad news to be priced in and we do think that uh, as has been the case for the last few weeks, uh, we do get some risk on earlier in the week basically short squeezes and then we move towards risk off as we head towards the weekend so we're going to see if that scenario plays out um, we've got our core on we're going to be adding through 80 as I mentioned at 430 in the morning there 85 has been the low if you look at what we're, what we're thinking here is we just kind of we want to get through this area here, which is kind of a pivot, uh, and then this will be very tradable here between 20 and 50, 200 days at 51. Uh, you can also draw this line here, which a lot of people will have drawn. We support first time. So there's this will be tradable in this area you want to have your core shorts it's kind of a reload you know where your stop is right um, above 37 so see how that goes what else is out there dollar yen not doing too much um, we continue to be bearish based on uh, based on future rate cuts I guess another 50s priced in for the Fed meeting now. Uh, we talked about how Japan is cornered, right? They can't take rates lower, any lower. Um, and the U.S. is going to continue to go lower, especially if there's more bad news as we uh, expect there to be. We traded up to 70 last night. You saw on Twitter a lot of the uh, regular FX commentators uh, went long. Um, kind of worked out there for 20 pips or so, but here we are back at 107.33. Uh, this is just core short. We're not trading this aggressively. We, we try and sell high ones, but we also are, are recycling the position um, just because it feels slightly uncomfortable uh, to be short dollar yen 107. But I guess if you really think about what's going to happen here, 104.40 is going to break, and it's probably going to 100. So I don't know why it feels uncomfortable. Maybe because we were so freaking bullish um, up here through 110. That wasn't that long ago. So now we're bearish down here at 107. Feels weird, but you know, just have to risk manage it and, and trade it. This is the nature of the business. Um, see how we do. Euro really did not do what we, we needed it to do yesterday. Uh, very neutral position here. We're still bullish. Um, is there a chance we sneak through 95? Uh, yes, there is. This is your obvious kill point now for all longs. Uh, but we still are going by the same theory that number one the market's short number two uh, the ECB has nowhere to go on this they could do more QE which would be uh, mildly bearish the rates in in, um, in Europe have nowhere to go there's, there's just nowhere to go you're at minus 70 uh, you're negative everywhere. The ten-year negative. There's no. There's no advantage to society. There's no advantage to uh, to anyone anywhere to have rates go further negative. It's one thing if you take a ten-year 
from and take it from two percent to fifty basis points. Everyone who has debt, everyone who has a mortgage um, that's rolling over during that time gets their payments reduced, sort of. But then you get to a point in society where no matter how further rates go down, mortgage rates can't go any lower. Take Switzerland, where I live now. Banks just said, screw it. We're not taking these things any lower. Interest rates are kind of, mortgage rates are kind of locked around 1% now, even though if you have a LIBOR, even even a LIBOR mortgage is 1% here um, for the most part, even though rates, short-term rates are minus 80 uh, and 10-year are negative and blah, blah, blah. Um, mortgage rates have a floor. Uh, no one wants to lend money to uh, consumers at zero. So anyway, this is my theory on Euro. Uh, I did not collaborate yesterday, obviously. The Italy news put a little dent into things, and then there were these sources, these idiotic sources comments that came out through some of the, uh, some of the news channels about a rate cut. Um, but we just don't think that's going to happen. Time will tell. I guess we'll really... Um, you know, we'll really see what's what uh, at the ECB meeting next week. So we do have non-farms Friday, but um, this is beginning to look like a head and shoulders. This neckline here at 95 looks quite tasty. So don't be stubborn with this. We're calling, um, putting on, pulling up the white flag through 95. That said, we'll be adding... Um, through 112, 14 through the highs if we get up there. Dollars are, we want to try and buy this today. Didn't quite get below 20. It's kind of dickering down here. Um, ideally, between 20 and 10 is our buy zone. So we're, we're going to be mildly patient. We're going to see, um, we're going to see how these S and P's are, are trading. 3098 today. I mean 3098 right now. Uh, see how it goes. I want to pull up the BTP chart because it was very painful for us yesterday. BTPs. We had a, a position that was too big, and uh, we ended up stopping out of a good portion of it um, at the highs, and that. Is nothing worse than that when you know you have the correct position and you end up stopping out at the highs. So this is um, this is now the June contract. Uh, June contract traded up to 148.38. We stopped out at 148.23. Um, 19 was the gap fill. We traded up to 23, back down to the figure. We put our stops at 23 for half the position. Um, you know, we're short at 147.60. We've been trading it down here, uh, but then we added yesterday. We had a poor, in a poor place, 146.70s, um, and so now all of a sudden we're up at 148. We know we don't want to buy these, but we've got too much, uh, too much on. So we got to cut. Um, so we ended up cutting just at the highs. Incredibly painful. Um, and now the now the average is destroyed. Uh, you're frustrated. You're angry, and we ended up cutting the rest. Or well, we didn't end up cutting the rest. We ended up taking back the rest at around 147.34 with the idea that we would resell them at 70. And of course, we never got paid. Um, I just want to point this out because it was a fucking clusterfuck. And this shit happens, man. Um, really savage, savage move, move in BTPs yesterday. And I guess the reason why is because all, all of us monkeys were short. And so, nice little short squeeze. Um, for those of you who did survive this, there will be, the market will be cleansed because of this. Uh, so it will go down easier today. As you can see, we're, we're looking at a gap open 30, 30 ticks today. Uh,
we are incredibly bearish BTPs. We think the yield's going to go to 6%. Uh, today it's it's trading at 1%, 101%. So we just need to rebalance and get back into this position. We are not going to... Uh, we are not going to knee-jerk sell through the gap today. Uh, we'll try and be waiting more patiently for a good area to get short again. But I just wanted to point it out. We were making jokes on Twitter about 1-800, are you fucking crazy? Uh, when the reality was, we got totally hosed. So, just sharing. It doesn't always go perfectly for us. Let's go to gold. Uh... We're stuck now. We got a bunch of bids below waiting to buy. Never going to get given. Um, gold to buy. I don't feel like buying it at 1640. Um, I'd probably be more comfortable buying it through 1690. We'll see. Uh, maybe we'll maybe we'll get a bit of a shake up at non farms. Gold is just stuck. Um, big up move, so it's going to consolidate here for a little bit. Uh, there's our gold. Uh, what else is there? Bitcoin has been stubbornly um, consolidating in all of this mess. Uh, but you want to be long Bitcoin. If you're a break trader, uh, 80, 89.70 in the cash looks okay. Uh, the futures will be through that level. We're trading the April contract now. Um, where is it? Yeah, 90 and a quarter already future so uh, consolidation this looks like it's heading back north uh, we prefer to buy low ones but this looks like kind of a break trade now with a bunch of highs here although you do have resistance at 92 but um, we do like Bitcoin higher still uh, Aussie and Kiwi we want to sell they're being stubbornly bid Basically, Aussie, we're at between 50 and 60. Um, and Kiwi, I don't know where we are. Obviously, 6380 is great, but I just have a feeling this is going to turn. We're going to watch the hourlies here and see if we can get some kind of turn. Maybe price is back below 75 if we get some hysteria towards the end of the week. But Aussie and Kiwi look too rich to us. All right, I've said enough today. Uh, I wish you guys luck out there. We have uh, some we have some speakers. Uh, Carney and and Polots are speaking in the evening in European time. We've got OPEC all day today. We want to sell oil on the forty eight handle. Um, MPC guys are speaking. Unemployment claims and a couple of bond auctions in Europe. Uh, French and Spanish. All right. Bye. 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 A demain. Ciao.